Can someone please tell me, why do people still think the eye of the Sahara was Atlantis? Like, really? The thing isn't even in the Atlantic Ocean, which is I'm pretty sure where Plato says it was. Past the Pillars of Hercules. Mauritania, <laughs> it's on land first of all, but anyway, I digress. The Eye of the Sahara, also formerly known as the Richat structure, I know, a lot less interesting, is a set of concentric rings that form this bullseye kind of shape 40 kilometers across. Now you're probably wondering, how does something like this form? Like it looks perfect. Well, not perfect, but geologically and naturally speaking, it's a circle. Well, to understand that, we kind of need to slice it in half. See. The Richard structure is just a dome with its head chopped off. I mean that quite literally. See, it started around 100 million years ago when we had this magmatic intrusion occur beneath it. This magmatic intrusion was less dense than the rocks around it, so it rose upwards. This created a doming effect on the rocks above. Now, at the start, the Richard structure probably would have looked like a hill, just a dome, basically. But sprinkle in some wind and water to get that erosional process going you would eventually get a dome with its head chopped off, which is kind of what this looks like. I've made this model here to sort of show you how it works and how you can sort of see it both in cross section and on top. Uh, this is visible geology made by Sequent. It's a really cool application. This isn't a sponsored video by any means, but it's useful to sort of visualize what the eye of the Sahara looks like. And that's kind of it without the bumpiness on the top. And the reason why we have these concentric rings is due to the erosional rates of different rocks. The more resistant ones will last longer compared to the softer ones. And that's kind of why you see these patterns of rings. So no, this isn't the lost city of Atlantis. There are no walls that once existed. We have found stone tools in the Sahara because, well, our ancestors migrated out of here, well, from down south, they have to wander through the Sahara. But we've never found any lost civilizations in the Sahara. And that's not starting at the eye of the Sahara. If you enjoyed this short bite-sized video, make sure to give a like, subscribe, follow, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you in the next one.